So since I'm doing things with types and V pointers that I probably shouldn't be doing, but it really helps to understand what's going on underneath the hood, uh, I'm going to give you one more example uh, talking about V pointers, demonstrating V pointers. <clears throat> now remember, the V pointer of an instance is determined by the type of that instance. Okay, that's that's concept number one. Concept number two, we only have V pointers if there's a potential for any um, polymorphic methods, meaning virtual methods. I say I'm saying methods. I should say functions in C++. Now here's a diagram out of our book on page 126. He has here a pointer to a shape instance, and so the shape instance stores some data here, and also stores an ID. But then here, embedded by the compiler, somewhat invisible to us, at the very first uh, address location of the instance is the v, v pointer, or V table pointer, as he has labeled here. And it simply points to a big fat jump table, is what you want to consider it. So in this case, we have an instance of a circle. And so when we invoke, invoke, <laughs> invoke circle set ID, well, instead of just being statically determined where set ID is, at compile time by the compiler, instead it pushes it to runtime, and when we say set ID, uh, there's code that jumps into the V table and says, okay, where's set ID? Oh, here's set ID. Let's go execute shape set ID in this case. But then when we do draw, that's going to invoke circles draw. So anyway, you can look at the code and read through there on the pages how that works. Anyway, I want to I want to prove to you the existence of this V table pointer, and in this exercise I'm making this video for, I have you doing something very interesting and probably pretty dangerous, but I'll explain that here at the end. Let's, uh, I have a base class, I have two derives. Notice neither derived is um, overriding foo, but that doesn't really matter. Foo's still virtual and the compiler will not make any assumptions that it will never be overridden. As soon as, soon as it sees virtual, the compiler says, okay, let's, uh, let's do the V table setup. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a Let's make a, a helper function here. Void show v pointer, and let's take a base star in here. Let's call it instance. And then I'm gonna do what I've showed you in some previous videos: some magic. Um, see out, reinterpret cast. Again, I'm just saying, hey, I'm gonna reinterpret what instance is. I wanna, <coughs> I wanna interpret as an int pointer. Okay, because I know that the pointer, uh, well, let's just, just roll with me for a minute. Okay, so I'm going to reinterpret instance as an int pointer. Now what's the, oh yeah, okay, and then let's do an end line out here. Okay, what's it complaining about here? Instance, did I spell it differently? Yes, I did. Okay, so I'm going to reinterpret cast <coughs> the instance as an int pointer. Now, let me pull, back, pull up that uh, figure again. So basically the pointer I'm casting, there's two pointers going on. There's the pointer to the base here, this base instance, that's pointing to the actual object out in RAM. And then there's this pointer embedded inside of the base instance that is pointing to the V table. And so when I say, hey, let's reinterpret this thing as an int pointer instead, Basically, I'm just going to grab these four bytes right here, which make up the V table pointer. I just want to look at the value that's in there. That's all I'm doing. But but again, I'm I'm still up at, at this level here, so in order to follow this arrow down, I have to dereference it. So I'm just going to put the star out here to dereference it. In fact, it might help you to understand a little bit more what I'm doing. If I say int star, int pointer, just do, break this up into steps. Is let's let's reinterpret instance, which is a base pointer. Let's reinterpret. Let's let's say it's instead of it's, instead of pointing to a base instance, let's let's say it's pointing to an int. Okay. So now I have this int pointer. I'm gonna say, hey, dereference int pointer, because I want to actually see the value that int pointer is pointing at. So it's kind of like a pointer pointer to a pointer. And, and don't let that hurt your brain cells too much. That's it. it I, I fear when we do two levels of indirection, it's like, oh, I can't handle that. No, no, it's, I have a pointer, and it points to another pointer. And you, that pointer points to an int. Okay, it's, it's kind of like when you get in trouble in elementary school, and, and they say, who did it? And you point at your friend, and then your friend points at his friend. And Anyway, 
if you want to think of it that way. Okay, so so this code is going to bring us down to uh, this dereference here is going to take us down this line right here so that I can look at this address. I want to see, hey, what are you pointing at? And <clears throat> in theory, this is the hypothesis. We'll prove whether it's true or not. Um, this address should be different depending on the concrete type of the instance. Okay, so so what does that mean? Let's let's go down here. I'm gonna make a. Well, let's see. I have a I have a base. I have a derived one and a derived two. And just to keep things kind of together, I'm gonna move this function a little higher up here. And then let's keep these down here. And then what's the error? Not a class or struct name. I think it's just. Well, I'm not sure. Let's let's, let's see if it builds. Oh, of course, yes. I, I move this up here, and it's like, I don't, know, I don't know what the base star is. So let's do a forward declaration. I'm going to say, hey, we have this base thing, and you'll see what it is. You'll see exactly what it is later, and it's right here. Okay. Remember, C++, it parses the file from the top down. So it's important for me to say class base, so that when it encounters this base here, it, it knows, oh, okay, it's, a, it's something. I'll, I'll see what it is later. I can get away with this with pointers. I can't with, with non-pointer types, but that's another video another time. Okay, so let's see this. Um, what I call the function? Show vpointer. Show show vpointer. Well, before we show a vpointer, we better make something we can show. So let's do base b derived one d one derived two d two. And I want to show the vpointer for uh, base. I want to do it. Oh, I misspelled that. I want to do it for D1, and I want to do it for D2. Now, if Jamie claims that that the vpointer is determined by the type of the instance, then all three of these values should be different. Let's build it and see. And sure enough, we have very close, the addresses are very close, but still 604836. Okay, so now let's go back and say, um, let's do another derived one here, d11, and let's show the vpointer for d11. Now think about, you should pause the video and think what's going to print here. Will it be different from these three, or will it be the same as any of them? So pause the video, I'm not going to tell you. Okay, now let me execute this. All right, so this is what we have. So there's the first three that we had before, and then this value is the same as this middle one. And if we look at again at our print statements here, the middle one is a D1. So that makes sense. D1 is a derived one, and D11 is a derived one as well. Remember the regardless of whether I call functions on this D1 or this D11, the code is identical or should be for for both of these instances and so the way that that uh, we manage that is through pointing to identical v tables it's not different instances of a v table there's one v table per per instance and then all instances point to that one v table which is what we're seeing here so anyway the exercise I'm having you do a little dirty trick but actually it's kinda interesting I'm having you um, set up something like this where you have two types and then I'm saying I want you to swap the V pointers. It's it's very dangerous. <laughs> but swap the the V pointers between the two instances and then observe the behavior that you, you get. And anyway the exercise walks you through all that.